All right, everybody, we are now live uh, doing our barrel tasting for choosing a barrel of whistle pig here. So uh, excited to kind of get this kicked off. You know, this is uh, this isn't the first time we've done a, a kind of like live blind tasting or anything like that before. You know, we did it once. I think it was like one of the first barrel picks we ever did, Ryan, which was the uh, the barrel bourbon. We kind of did it over. Oh, Google, yeah. Google Hangouts back in the day, something like that. Yeah, it was me, you and Blake. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, a... it was so exciting. <laughs> it's so exciting you forgot about it yeah <laughs> yeah so uh so today and tonight uh, we are going to be doing this this uh tasting and we're going to be selecting from uh we're going to select one barrel from whistle pig of course it's a rise everybody kind of well knows uh we've had some pretty good success picking out whistle pig before we had uh two bottles that were two barrels that we selected last year and i mean one of them which was uh uh, what was it? The curveball was kind of like one of my favorite bourbons that we had, uh, or not bourbons, but whiskeys that we had selected last year. And tonight we're going to kind of do that as well as kind of going through here. Uh, but first I kind of want to let, uh, you know, to the people that you regularly don't see here, uh, introduce themselves so they can kind of tell you, uh, where they're from. So Bob, I'll let you go first. Yeah. Uh, this is Bob Carpenter. I'm from, uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, and, um, I'm just really excited. Well, awesome. All right. We're excited. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Peter, why don't you uh, go? All right. Hey, y'all. Uh, Pete Navani. I'm from uh, St. Cloud, Minnesota. Um, super excited. Love uh, Whistle Pig stuff. Love the, the show. So I'm stoked. Absolutely. How cold is it up there? It's, uh, I mean, it's bearable for today, but it's been, it's been kind of rough. A lot of snow. Not, not great. Yeah. I remember not we, uh, we were, on the way to Seattle and uh, Minneapolis was like our uh, connection and they were announcing the weather was like negative 17 wind chill. And I was like, Ooh, uh, yeah. glad we're not uh, staying here. Yeah. We've had some of yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's uh, it's, it's pretty brutal. That's for sure. So this is uh, you know, when we usually do a barrel pick uh, it's funny, like we'll go and the, the typical process is like, Let's go through walk us. Um, it's usually like an hour and a half tour that that pre precedes doing a a barrel pick. Thankfully, we don't have to deal with an hour and a half tour tonight. So that's yes, this is much better. Like, <laughs> I don't know if I can do another tour. I've seen the Terminator <laughs> tank like a thousand times. Yeah, that's that's Ryan's uh, Ryan's go to. Your your fermentation tanks no better than anybody else's. Yep. <laughs> All Let's right. Talk well, about that barrel entry proof. Yeah, everything. We'll talk about everything. We'll talk about how they source their corn and they have the best corn. Like it's. Yeah, uh, so we saw this Peterson truck just went from the other store and before yours. <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> it does make you realize how much corn is actually out there, though. Yeah, there's a ton. Yeah, I mean, yeah. just in bourbon, but just in grains and nachos. I mean, I mean, could you imagine like how many nachos like a Mexican restaurant throws away in a night? Like that's a lot of corn, right? I mean, it's just yeah. Corn These are just random thoughts. I mean, to me, it's, it just reflects on like why this is a the whiskey of America, right? I mean, because back in the day, the farmers had a bunch of corn, and it was either going to go bad or you were going to turn it into bourbon, you know. Yeah. So that was before they had Mexican restaurants. Me, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, y'all ready to get to it now? Yeah. All right, so I've sent everybody um, four different samples, so they're lined up one, two, three, and four, as you can kind of see right here, and we're just going to kind of go in order. Um, I've got four glasses I have in front of me just to be a little prepared, but um, so feel free to just go ahead and dump number one in, and these were all, these all came in 200 ml bottles, uh, so 200 ml split between four people looks about like this. Right. So you got to be a little, uh, I don't know. What's the word picky. Don't, don't like, don't go crazy and just chug it. Be like, Oh, well that was it. Can't go back to number two now. So we got to just make sure we have our notes together when we are, uh, going through this. So, so we starting with like three or something. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you fool me, one. fool me, fool me once. Yep. <clears throat> do you know if uh, these are Canadian or MGP? Good so question. I would imagine that these are, these are going to be Canadian. Um, 
you know, when we did our pick last year, and I I don't think Whistle Pig has actually had any MGP rye in the probably the, in about a year and a half or two now. Um, so everything that they have done is yeah, it's it's going to be Canadian. Now, when we did our our Whistle Pigs last time, I believe they were thirteen years, and I'm not gonna. There was no ages that were put on any of these. However, I have seen um, some Whistle Pig rise come out, and they've been in the ten year mark. So I have no idea what's going to be 10, what's going to be 13, what's not. Uh, I do know that there will be some 15-year whistle pigs that is going to be coming to market relatively soon as well because uh, Tony from Keg and Bottle, who we were able to uh, source and do all these things through, he is committed to a barrel of 15-year whistle pigs. So you can right. look forward to that uh, coming in the future. So Perfect. All right, well, on to number one. So. For anybody that wants to look, that's uh, that's the kind of color that we're seeing in this one right here. So, kind of amberish hay kind of color. Mm. Looks like whiskey. Looks like whiskey. Yeah. Smells like whiskey. Boy, that's got a lot of pepper. Yep. Yeah, I warmed yeah. up yeah. with uh, a couple of other, a uh, couple of local picks uh, of whistle pig, and this is quite quite a different nose, actually. Oh yeah, what what do you what are you getting that's different on them? Uh, I'm not sure I'm, p I'm placing it yet, but it's uh, it's it's uh, richer or syrupy or something. Uh, yeah, I get like white yeah. grape juice, like Welch's white grape juice. <clears throat> that finish that real, just won't put it, man. Like that real sugary kind of. I just almost nosed the microphone. I was getting ready to talk, but I was going <laughs> I back and forth. What'd you say? You it smell like what? I smell foam from the microphone. Oh, it's foam. <laughs> But you're like sea foam, like you get that off a of nose. Yep. This was an oceans edition. I mean, this one does at least for for me. This is also my my first sip for the night, so it, it might be yeah, a little too. bit, little bit of a uh, little bit of alcohol. I mean, there's there's definitely some alcohol in the nose there. Um, I didn't think it was too bad. Treated. But I mean, it still has some of those character traits, like the kind of like spearmint kind of smell. Yeah. I should ask Bob or Peter, have you all actually uh, picked a barrel before? Is this first time <clears> doing it or? I picked uh, a barrel at Barton. Barton before? Okay. Yeah. Nice. Nice. I've done one mm -hmm. um, in a group, but not, not at the, at the distillery. Gotcha. Have you done one on StreamYard? <laughs> <laughs> not first time on StreamYard actually. But, yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we blew our palates. So, yeah, <laughs> we drank a lot before. <laughs> That's quite all right. That's quite all right. Yeah, the first That's one's cool. uh, pretty good. Good start. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm a big fan. It's got some like creaminess on the front end, and then it's really easy. And then it's still got like a little, like you said, a lot of pepper on the back end. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, that spice is definitely there on the back end. I like to see it just be a little yeah. bit more full bodied or robust. Um, yeah, it's really light on the front end and then kind of spot, but yeah, start. Mm -hmm. I should have brought four glasses. Yeah. You can, you can I run real those. quick. Yeah, go get... run and go get four glasses if you need to, real quick. Make it a little so, bit easier on you. Can I do that too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're not live or anything, you know, whatever. <laughs> we got time. We got time. <laughs> yeah, see, maybe me and you, like we had our, we, we knew exactly what we were doing. Going, eh, well, you know, yeah. kind of going into this, I had an idea of what we were going to do. So just had to be prepared <laughs> for it. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, what are people saying? Happy cows. Uh, let's see. Goddamn conspiracy. I don't know about that. Uh, of course, I'm prepared. Yes, that's very true. Um. Let's see. Looks darker than both of the whistle pigs I have in my bar now. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll kind of show you. A little, I'll get a little teaser here. So, like I said, this was number one. And this is number two. So we're now on the two. And I think maybe it's just the, maybe the camera angle. But at least at least from here, two looked a little bit darker when I was pouring it. That's what I'm seeing, but I'm not sure. Maybe. And then. Light. And then. But this maybe. is three. So we'll get to it. I guess the color is not too crazy different, but. Wow. I'll be going to sleep after this. 
Night night. <laughs> You're not gonna hit the Discord. <laughs> oh, I'm there all the time. I was just regaling them of my big win last night. What was the big win last night? Uh, I won a Michter's twenty in a Facebook drawing. That's that's a win, nice. all right. Hang on. Um, yeah. Well, we should nice. we should have done this one in person then. <laughs> right. right, I haven't gotten it yet. So. <laughs> you know Brian Bakey, Beaky, Bakey. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Reckony, Biaki. Yeah, I know the name. He texted me yesterday. He's like, he won a a tornado on a raffle. I was like, oh my gosh, it was free too. Somehow. Oh I wow. Know. I want a grain of the guy. Yeah, you you win a lot of stuff apparently. It's because I see some people in the chat, at least on the YouTube chat, saying that you uh, you win too much shit. <laughs> he plays a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Gambling money ain't got no home. Yep. <laughs> okay, I like the nose on two a little bit more. Um, I'm getting grapes off of this. I get a little bit more oak on it. Oak leather. Those typical notes that I I, I kind of enjoy. Yeah, it's definitely a more uh, robust. It's got uh, a lot more body to it. Oily. Yeah, it's, kind of, oily. it's viscous. Very yeah. Viscous. Yeah, I agree. There's some oak there. I bet you, yeah. It's, I like it. I don't know if I'm in love with it, but I like it. I'm getting olive. I'm going to go back to one real quick, just to make sure my nose isn't going crazy. No, I just think, I think my, I think I just killed my nostrils, like, <laughs> as in like, <laughs> you know, number one, I was like, oh, there's like a lot of alcohol here. And then I go to the second one, I'm like, oh, there's really not. Let me go back to the first one, see if it's still there. And I'm like, damn it, it's not there on the first one anymore. So <laughs> I was like, I guess I just killed all the senses in there. And it's like, well, I got a caramel note from the yeah. first one. I'm sure this is riveting for everybody watching right now. <laughs> this one seems more balanced, I guess. Uh, yeah, I agree. I think this is a little more person. balanced. I, I, I totally agree with you on that one. You, I get the, I think this got to be older. Because I'm getting more of that tannic kind of drying. That might make sense. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which I immediately love already more. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one's, yeah, got a, yeah. It's, I can't it's describe it as sweet. Yeah, There's today. something missing for me, but it's still, it's still good. Really good. I like the finish on number one better. Yeah. The, part, the finish on this is kind of really dry. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. It just won't go away. <laughs> um, like, <laughs> like, like. Well, I want to hear this. Let me hear this analogy go. Well, I don't. I, I, I don't know. No, I put you on the spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was God, like, I got oh. like a mushroom flavor. Yeah, it's got like some earthiness to it. Yeah. You know, there's actually some like four roses that kind of feel like they taste like that too. Mm -hmm. It's like there's when you eat like a raw carrot or something and it's just like <laughs> i don't know like a raw vegetable or something and it sticks with you well oh, three is dark would you say three is dark too yeah i'm like pouring out all right i poured it out so here's number three yeah three is yeah. darker than two for sure in my light at least in my son's bedroom yeah, yeah. it seems that way <laughs> Smooth curveball, yeah. Oh. I do have that mix. Do you have it? Oh, I was like, mine have it right there. Mine's I mine's know. all the way in the basement, so I I'd have to go get it. But that'd be a that'd be a good indication to see where we are. That or we just wait till the very end. Wait till yeah, the very end. I was gonna say wait till the very end, and then and then we'll be like, oh, it's not as good. Never we'll mind. Like, don't buy this barrel. Yeah. <laughs> Four more samples. You know, this is uh, so far. These are a lot different from what I remember. Uh, the first one was. Reminded me more of the uh, like icy leg one, yeah, uh, kind of real grapey, fruity, mm -hmm. light. Um, yeah, number two is kind of got more of those like it's got more bourbon characteristics to it than rye. Um, 
and that's what I really like. Yeah, you know, I and that's why I like Smooth Curveball so much was because it was it was more like a bourbon than it was a rye. Three is a palate peeler, man. Ooh. It definitely has some more of the typical rye notes to it. I, Whereas, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm I, mean, nose, though, or, I don't know. It seems okay. It's like a hot blast is what I'm getting. Is it like a hot mess? <laughs> hot blast. Oh, hot, hot blast? Mess. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a... It's heat all the way through. Yeah. It like singes everything. I don't really know. I don't know if I get that. I did not smell thumb. Whoever said that. I think they thought I said it when I said foam. <laughs> you know, it's, a, it's a reference to me. All I do is pick up thumbs in the Discord pictures. <laughs> I think three is my least favorite so far. Yeah, I would agree with that. Hold on. We need to wait. Three for is it. like the oh, three yeah. is the oh, rye no. you drink after you got a divorce. We need we need at least at least three votes to totally take it out. So Pete three three is a cocktail rye for me. <laughs> <laughs> so you all have to understand the the idea of cocktail rye. So there was the idea that when we were going down this path of starting a private line and all sort of kind of stuff, we've had opportunity to buy rye barrels, but the ones that we have tried, we we're just like, mm, I don't think we should. We could actually release this like under our name. It's probably, you know, what, what do we always say in this world if something's not great for drinking straight or drinking neat? It's good in a cocktail, right? Yeah. And so we just said, well, fuck it. We'll just call it what it is and just call it cocktail rye. Like, it's only good for <laughs> cocktails. Like, don't yeah. use it anything else. So. <laughs> I still think we should trademark that if we can. <laughs> probably do that. But, I mean, you got to be able to convince Before Tim Jones that. takes it. He loved that idea. <laughs> Dude, I, I got to tell you. To me, the ideal would be to buy a bottle or buy a barrel of rye and just stick it in a warehouse or someplace for like five more years. We can yeah. do that. Yeah. You you want to do it? We can do it. I mean. Okay. Uh, I'm in. Yeah. Was, like, <laughs> we can we can call MGP tomorrow and buy a few barrels and just wait on them until whenever. That's I, don't, not I, don't, I don't know if our broker will be happy. Be like, sorry, we're just right. going to put these over in the corner for the next 10 years. That's getting it's that's growing on me. It's not as bad. Hmm. I mean, I don't know. I don't know why you would say it's the, that bad. I actually kind of enjoy it. Like I said, there's there's some oak there to it. There's some. Um, uh, there's definitely the the rye characteristic that that kind of dill that kind of like yeah piney pine, pine taste to it yeah that's a good description yeah and matthew layton says where can i get some more episode 18 you know, <laughs> you're gonna have to wait on that one we hit, wait we hit. i've been told not to pick something that's growing on me that's true <laughs> i mean yeah I, I i went back and tasted the first two i mean this is just me so don't like you said there's four of us uh, I like the first two better, but we'll get back to it. Yeah, we'll get back to it. We got enough here. I finished all my samples. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to bed. Like Brian, right? Yeah, Brian, you're just gonna have roulette here. You're just gonna have to choose a number and stick with it. You come back to one, and there's so much caramel on it. On the nose or taste? Yeah, or totally on the nose. It's like totally when you come back to it. It's yeah. like a big. But I did have pecan pie, so maybe that's me. I like pecan pie. <laughs> I like derby pie. Yeah, derby pie is the best. I mean, is it? And tell me if, if I'm wrong. Like, at least this has been a thing with like my family's. Like, at least uh, chocolate pies. You all have chocolate pies. Like, just basically like graham cracker pus, graham cracker, cr graham cracker pie crust with like pus, pus. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God this is gonna be a podcast. I want to be like, oh, but to edit everything out of here. Uh, <laughs> And then it's just like basically like a layer of like chocolate pudding or like chocolate something. And then it's like a meringue on top. Derby. I've never John Henderson's asking what's Derby pie. It's basically. It's delicious. It's like this. 
I don't know. What would you call that filling? It's like whipped sugar cream. I don't know. It's what, like the like the like the praline inside, like kind of whatever it is. Well, it's got like chocolate chips and like mm-hmm. um, <clears throat> like I don't know what it is. It's the exact opposite of Gucci ice. It's everything <laughs> great about America. <laughs> is Gucci ice a thing? Uh, it is for John Henderson, that's for sure. Okay, all right. <laughs> or is or is Gucci ice just meaning like you have like this the like super clear ice or something? Yes, like that. that's it. It's okay. the super clear ice. I thought you were about to say like Gucci started coming out with ice. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Apparently, we got to get them on the podcast I will, now. Uh, Google Derby Pie just to so I can get right. I'm a big fan right. of four on the nose. Yeah, I am too. It's like grapes, wine. Derby pie is a, let's see. It's like four a reminds me of chocolate. Four reminds me of two. It's more like a bourbon rather than a rye. I mean, there's yeah. still a little bit of rye there, but. Yeah, I can see this. But there's there's definitely like so much time in oak that it's taken away probably some of like the harsh, or not harsh, but like some of those prominent rye characteristics. Oh, yeah. Four is really good. Baseline, we can say there's nothing bad in any of these, right? I mean, right, sure. Yeah. I'd say that's the positive. Yeah. And this was uh, also, I should mention that, you know, Whistle Pig's been, uh, they're at least the people that we deal with, they're big fans of the show. And they have, they have begged us to actually come out to the Whistle Pig farm. But we, uh, it's, yeah, okay. it's, it, we just haven't had an opportunity to be able to do that yet. And, we wouldn't be able to do it until like June or July. So we're like, Hey, we'll get this one underneath our belt. And then maybe we'll look at it June and July timeframe and make it happen. So we uh, get a right of first refusal, right? Cause I'll go to the farm. Seems appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so here's the thing. John Henderson lives like 10 minutes from there. And so he says like, if I'm not on this, like I'm going to kill everybody. So we have to yeah, but you won't even <laughs> get, like, everything. <laughs> you won't even get Joe G's beer. So oh, that's I true. Even know drive to the farm. Yeah. Vermont and Maine, where John lives, are like two of my favorite places. They're so just not during this time of the year. No, <laughs> not during this. Time. Well, if you like skiing, it's a good time to go. I know there's a lot of inside baseball we're talking about here, but so there's a lot of people with inside of uh, the Patreon community we're kind of talking about that mm-hmm. all talk on the Discord server every day here. So that's why you're right. kind of hearing those things. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna swing back to one again real quick and start. I'm gonna try to start eliminating one or two here. And then I think here probably in, I don't know, five minutes or so, just kind of say like what your top two are. Now one definitely gives a lot of that caramel, but the spice really hits it on the back palate. Yeah. Am I getting that now? Sure. Yeah. Since going into that the first time, I didn't really, I didn't really get that taste or sensation. But second time going around, I got it. I think I have my top two. That was quick. I see. One is really good because it's got a long finish, but it's not like just destroying your palate, like. I love the finish on one. I just yeah. the I want more out of the front end, I guess. And and, so, and I've got that alcohol burn going on again too. So maybe my nose kicked back in. So who knows? Um these won't be proofed down, right? We're tasting them as is. Correct. Okay. We're tasting them as they will be coming out of the barrel, going into the bottle. And I I have the bottles here next to me, but I I'll save the reveal for after we're done here to kind of we don't know the age. All we know is the proof, but I'll save that. And, and proof basically changes by the day. So, yeah, don't be uh, don't be pissed off if I'm like it's 128.2 and then it shows up like 124. I'm like, it's just dude. In five minutes, I'm not going to remember my name. <laughs> <laughs> prove it. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone on here been to Key West? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. I'm going. Uh, yeah, you are getting close to my favorite place in the world. Really? Well, I'm going there Thursday for four Seriously? days. Seriously? Yeah. 
I'm going to Jack Rose Wednesday. Mm. Ooh, that's fun. Love that place. Yeah, Where I dropped kidding. the coin. Yeah, oh, I, yeah. Very good things. <clears throat> we are going to Marco, Miami area. Oh, yeah, Marco Mar Allen's awesome. Or Marco Allen? Yeah, that's, yes, that's where I want to die, basically. I want to move to Marco. <laughs> I feel so much liveliness and good things happening here. <laughs> yes, John, that'll be my first time there. So I was Googling, like me and my wife were Googling top things to do in uh, Keys. And the first thing that came up was like, get naked at a bar. I was like, what? <laughs> you should do that. <laughs> I want to see a picture, though. That's weird. No, it's not. <laughs> we're good friends. As That's long as not it's, weird at all. As long as it's not on that meme, whatever we did. Well, that's, it's not a that's, picture. He wants a TikTok. <laughs> yeah, we can, TikTok. We can do those too. We do everything now. We're all full over the place. Full disclosure: I am not involved or condone any of these TikToks. <laughs> dot dot dot. <laughs> yet, Pete, how you doing over there? What are you thinking? <clears throat> I'm doing good. I'm trying to figure these out. Uh, I know I like to. That's kind of where I'm at so far. Pete, I think me and you're on the same level, bud. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm eliminating one of these. I know I'm not gonna, not gonna push forward. So I'm, I'm down to three. I agree. Yep. Same here. I have my top three. So anyway, other things to do in the keys. Yes. Fishing. Let's Yes, oh, yeah, absolutely. definitely going to do that. Charter okay. fishing is going to be a fun one. Uh, you know, yeah. are you staying, probably staying near Duval Street? Uh, It's like, I think we're like 10 minutes away. It's called like Perry West or something. Okay. Well, it's a. Uh, Duval uh, Street is like just the that's street. That's where all that the that debauchery has. is, isn't it? Well, I mean, you call it debauchery. It's it's not New Orleans, okay? Like, let's be real. Like, it's it's a street. It's got a few bars. Uh, I think there's there's one one ladies club kind of thing at the very, very end. And then, um, yeah, it's just, it's just a few bars, some shops. It's nothing crazy. You know, don't, don't, don't let anybody uh, try to tell you that it's the craziest thing in the world, but it's nothing like ultra, nothing, nothing like <laughs> Miami. That's for sure. <laughs> so I'm on, I'm staying at the Perry hotel key West. And ah, yes. I've been there. Uh, I, th I believe it. Yeah. Cause it's like 10 minutes away from Digital street. I, I yeah. know exactly what you're talking about, but it's got like a pretty sweet, like uh lobby and bar and kind of everything like that. Yep. Yep. I'm not talking about, you're going to like it. Cool. Yeah. Well, you'll get to see the sun too, which is like non-existent here in Cincinnati. <laughs> That's true. Same. I know it came yeah. out this morning here and then, it's like, well, see you later. And, be jo and Joe said that you should go check out a drag show while you're there. He said it was great last time. <laughs> oh yeah, then you do that. Yeah, Friday I went to night? I went to a burlesque show here in Louisville on on Friday. It's Bourbon Town Burlesque. It's third year in a row we've been. Had a good time. There wasn't as many uh, acrobatic acts as I like, but it's still a still a fun time. Good, clean, family fun. <laughs> Burlesque and family fun. I don't know if they go well. <laughs> you haven't heard that one in the same sentence in a while, have you? I definitely want to hit up Hemingway's. And yeah, I've got to do the tourist thing and do the southernmost point. Yeah. You'll get a picture and be like, that was cool. <laughs> See you later. All right. But I heard just driving around scooters is fun too. Like, Oh, yeah. You have to. You go, I mean, you can just go rent a scooter. And just give them your credit card. Don't worry about it. Just get it later. And then just ring, ring, just all over the all over the little island. Uh, there's roosters and chickens everywhere, though. Perfect. They, it's um, hey, hey. It's, well, it's kind of like that, but they have an actual legit problem where they can't get rid of them. So it's literally just an island full of just. And that's the that sucks because actually you're okay because you get up early, yeah, and so. Everything like everything starts happening around like seven a.m. Like roosters are growing and everything. Like a that. good hour and a half by then. Yeah. So oh, they, God. Yeah, they they've got a they've got a a a wild chicken and rooster problem out there. 
<laughs> All right. Anybody have their top two? I do. I'm giving my kids a hug good night. Okay. That's the greatest. Go for it. She goes, who is all these people? There's only four. You should teach them proper grammar is what you should do. <laughs> They're four years old. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> never too young to start. Yep. These are my internet friends. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, who wants to go first? Who's got their who's got their top two? All right. I I got mine, but y'all can go ahead. All right. Pete, I'll, I'm going to let you go first. Okay. What's your top two? I'm having a hard time, but uh, the one that the first one I knocked out was number one. Mm -hmm. um, it's odd because it kind of changed a few times as I went back, but uh, but I definitely um, I like two a lot, and I think I like three and four as well. So I'm I'm just trying to uh, kind of narrow between these two at the moment. Do we need to come back to you? I feel like maybe, I'm like a maybe. <laughs> I like, like one, two, three, and four. <laughs> <laughs> in that like order. A, like I'm a server at Chili's. Be like, should I just come back in two minutes? Like, <laughs> yeah. And let me know when y'all made up your decision yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll come back to you. Bob, what about you? Yeah. What are your top two? Um, My top two are one and two. All right. Let me go ahead and I'm going to write this down. One, two. If I can find a pen that works. All right. So one and two. All right. My top two probably should be probably no surprise. Uh, it's actually going to be two and four. <laughs> Damn it, Kenny. We're too much alike. I'm with, on two and four myself. Two and four. <laughs> and I like one also as uh, um, a close third, but two and mm -hmm. four for me. Three is just... Uh, it's Hold on, hold on. What if Pete loves three and he puts both oh, his votes in? Yeah. For, what if he puts both his votes in for three? Yeah, don't let me uh, don't let me <laughs> sway you. My older son other. didn't like two. So. No? Okay. Well, that's too bad. Because <laughs> we're not picking it for your older son here. <laughs> well, maybe. Maybe we are. <laughs> maybe someday for his wedding. Yeah, uh, future, future Bob generations here. Mm-hmm. Joe Lamar says, "People's champ in training." Yeah, that was Rowan. <laughs> oh, right there. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That was my son Rowan. Yes, he's named after a bourbon. Like Kenny says, it's what happens when immature people name their kids. <laughs> <laughs> he named his. Wait, he's got Stella. Are you kidding? I have a son named Rock Hill. <laughs> oh, do you? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, it's weird. Rock Hill. Yeah. Is that <laughs> My next unborn son is Blanton's. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Colonel Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You just named Colonel right out of the gate. <laughs> I like it. Pete, where, where's I, your head at, buddy? I think I'm comfortable eliminating uh, three as well, or mm -hmm. on my, my list anyway. Seems really, the finish on it seems yeah. super short. And, uh, but yeah, I was having a tough time between three and four. So where's your top two? Is it three and four? Top, no, top two, two and four. I'll two and four. There. Yeah. All right. Easy enough. All right. <clears throat> then, uh, so right now we got four votes for two, two vote, three votes for four. So I guess uh, just kind of like go back to it. And like, let's just, uh, then we got just choose one. How about that? And that's gonna, choose that's one between what? Between two and four. Oh, okay. I didn't listen. I blacked out. For <laughs> yeah. Thank God I'm here to keep everything going in the right direction here. The train conductors always got to be paying attention. Yep. <laughs> so what happened? Uh, did you did you watch Fred's Stag Jr. versus Field? Or I haven't yet. You know what happened on that? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, B517 from Elijah Craig came in number one. Stag came in number mm -hmm. two. I know that much. Wow. Yeah, Elijah Craig barrel proofs. That's tough to beat. Well, I mean, See, that was, that was, that's always good. Rookie of the year, the seventeen. Yeah, well, five seventeen was yeah. It was it was whiskey of the year. Whiskey mm -hmm. advocates, whiskey of the year. Um, keep that in mind. But it was also the only bottle of Elijah Craig barrel proof that I'd opened. So I just said, like, here you go. Let's just run with this one. Um, 
next time if he asked me to do it again, I'll throw some I'll throw some curveballs in there. It was a lot a lot of a lot of big guys in there this time. All right, going back and forth on the noses here. These both are sweet oak. Just saying. Oh, I know, I love That's it. Kenny picked them. God, it's the best. It truly <laughs> is. Kenny a sweet oak T-shirt. You know, we could, we could so we could think about open up a swag store with that, and we'll have another mm -hmm. one just says I'm from Bardstown on it. Dude, you've uh, got to trademark it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to trademark sweet oak. We'll do that in cocktail raw. At the same right. time. Uh, I guess, I guess if we're going to come out with a uh, a new line of whiskeys, maybe we should just come out with multiple ones and just call it Sweet Oak and Cocktail Rye. And I like it. Not from Bardstown. <laughs> I'm not from Bardstown. I'm just curious. Now that I got this new mic, can you hear my <clears throat> kids in the background? Sure can. Okay, cool. I didn't know if it filtered it out or something. It was magical. No, it only can do so much, but let's see. Where are those BP t-shirts? I got mine on. I got my BP t-shirt. I haven't changed today. This is why we're to church. Oh, I no, changed. I got it. I thought I was going to wear my BP. <laughs> hey, I forgot. If we, if we get any more questions over here, Bob's just going to start taking off layers of clothes, so we got to be careful what we ask. Front row. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Keep it going. Man, you got like nine layers on. You Holy had a sweatshirt, you got a, a t-shirt, you got a long sleeve. Cold. I hate the cold. I can tell. You picked a good city to live in. Yeah. Yeah, you should you should be living down in Florida, I guess. John says, no, the kids just sound clear. Yep, <laughs> that's funny. Well, out of two and four, I know who I'm going to pick. This is yeah, tough for me. This is tough. I know they're they're pretty similar. See, you're you're right. gonna have to pick four. Yeah, okay. All right, I know what I want to pick. It I think I got it. what you want. Hmm. Yep, I got it. All right, if you got your favorite, Bob, let's hear it. Um, my favorite is two, but I know who, what your favorite is. All right, Pete, where you at? Two. All right, because I'm at four. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm at four. <laughs> I'm like torn because uh, yeah, because it's basically is, so... basically you choose two and it's over, or you choose four and then we have to arm wrestle. <laughs> I know, I know why. Uh, I know why you want four. Because it's it's the finish is a lot stronger on four. Yeah, two is um, much more balanced. Four mm -hmm. has like a punch you in the mouth at the end, which yep. I like. So well, it's got that oak tannin like finish, right? Yeah, kind of mouth drying. Hmm. And don't get me wrong. Decision, two that gets two, is, two is still very, very good. So don't get mm -hmm. me wrong there. Two is well, still very, very good. Two's like a guzzler to me. It's like it's <laughs> you know, it's one you get you in trouble. Four, you like it you can feel its presence. I'm gonna go with four. It's just it, it leaves something with you. It's like two's really good, don't get me wrong, but mm -hmm. four is like it just it stands out. So we're in a split so, decision now. We're in an arm wrestle. Yep. Sharp now we got to figure out. Yeah. Now we got to figure out how to how to really. Because the thing is, we can't do a blind, right? Typically, when let's, we do these, let's thumb wrestle. <laughs> thumb wrestle. Does everybody up here? One, two, three, four. <laughs> I declare a thumb war. Because typically, we would we would leave the room. We'll come back, and then we'll all. We need Susanna here. Yeah, uh, well, and then they'll make a blind for us, and then we usually switch. And then ah. basically, these guys, Bob and Pete, would choose four, and then we'd choose two, and then we'd be right back where we were before. <laughs> That's always what happens. I'm kind of at a crossroads now. Go wrong with any. Like I'm. 
All right, let's see if uh, let's see who's who's a salesman. Anybody? What do y'all what do y'all do in your real life, Bob Pete? Uh, I am an attorney. I work for a hospital. Okay, <laughs> Pete. What about you? Malpractice. I uh, <laughs> I, I work for for a ad tech company. Done mm -hmm. some sales. Now, uh, you know, kind of uh, various mm -hmm. projects, I guess you could say. Yeah. So you so you were in some sales. sales. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now I think what's going to have to happen is that one of us has to sell the other. Mm. Man, four's finish is just so. It's what they, they're definitely distinct. That's what I like about this decision here. What was I'm, the hatred? I think if I did these blind or... separately, I would be able to pick. I mean, I'd be I'm able willing to come out. I'm willing yep. to go with four if it has a Kenny Sweet Oak sticker. <laughs> I think we can make it happen. <laughs> oh, he's all for that. <laughs> I mean, that's an that's an easy sell. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I, I don't know what. By the way, I'm down just, to like uh, I'm down to the very end here. So like that's two you. and that's four. So it's like we've got to be very. Let's very, ask the audience. So like, do you want like more of a? I I don't want to say easy drinker, but. I mean, I'm really like curious what the proof something that's is very balanced. Um, yeah. Something that's very balanced. Like it's got the sweet oak. It's got some. <clears> um, uh, Seriously, you can't go wrong with any of these. I mean, yeah. these are mm -hmm. all no. very solid. Fours has a finish that, like, at the end, you you remember it. Um, that's the only thing. But two is so good. It's like. <laughs> Do you get a lot of rye notes from any of these? Not really. I no. get more. I get more in two. I get on the four. four. Really? Yeah. Well, Pete, we're different people. I guess that's that, how it that is. Sharp, <laughs> that sharp finish, yeah. I, I get it on four, but uh, the, the rye. But. They're all saying finish in four. I think that means four. Well, hold Two on. just kind of has like this like marshmallow s'mores kind of mm -hmm. campfire. It's, it's bourbon very, here. Yeah, it's definitely like more bourbony, sweet. Four is just like, hello, I'm a rye mm -hmm. and I'm here to party. <laughs> Have you seen my Instagram? Account? Oh, can I compare smooth curveball? I guess I can get that out. Get go ahead, out. go ahead, and, <laughs> go ahead, and, go yeah. ahead and grab it. And Please grab do. It. I didn't have a chance point. to uh, to to grab a smooth curveball, so uh, but we'd love to hear about it. Like what what style was it? it? That's what. So the idea behind smooth curveball was that I said it doesn't feel like a rye, like it tastes like a bourbon. So it's got like, it, cur it's it, like okay. a curveball, and then. You know, Tony was with us. He called it smooth. So we said, hey, all smooth, right, all smooth right. curveball. Right. That's, that. how, that's how it came about. Here it is. Yep. Let me get rid of one of these. Now, I'm not going to say if it's <laughs> if smooth curveball is better or not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for what Ryan has to say, and then I may I'm I'm out of samples now, so I may have to flip. So smooth curveball. It, it, it's totally different than these. That's it tastes so much like a bourbon <laughs> compared to both of these. Mm -hmm. um, it's mm. it's not even like a fair comparison. All right, maybe then. is that was that one MGP? No, um, it was not. Uh, mm. That was also I remember, I believe it was a thirteen year. If anything, it's probably hmm. It's probably closer to two, but I don't know. It's it's they're they're not similar at all. <laughs> all right. <laughs> What's two and four? Give me a sample. Two and four are like so I, I will say rise like 
when I went back to my my third and final tasting, I'm out now. Just two over four. So Ryan, finish it up. Let me know what you're thinking, because I think I think my vote just flopped right there. But I want a sweet oak. Well, we, it can still be a sweet oak. This could definitely be sweet oak too. It's both still, both it's still the oak. It's, it's just, still very much there. It just on these two, it depends if you want like a real spicy like finish. That's what the difference is for me. Mm -hmm. Spicy hot finish. <laughs> Not bad. I, I like eat. I like barrel proof, but. You know, neither are bad. Twos are so damn drinkable. Thumbs out for Harambe, too. by the way. For Harambe? <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll agree with two. Um, I mean, it, I, I, and, and, and I'm not, I'm not just trying to pander to these guys, right? Cause they're part of our community. I, it's not, that's not the deal. I'm literally saying like, I went and tasted the end of it and, on the third try, maybe it was fourth or fifth, whatever it was, <laughs> two two kind of came out ahead for me right there. It, it might have been the way that it just rolled over my tongue, whatever it is. I just liked it. So, yeah, it's and, crazy. Smooth curveball tastes nothing like these two. What's where do you see smooth curveball in the uh, the ladder of tastes over here? I'm, I'm just making up making that. up terms, dude. I'm not gonna say. <laughs> okay. How do you how do you compare it though? Maybe mm -hmm. smooth curveball is probably like closer to two. Like it's very mm -hmm. uh, approachable, drinkable. Like got the kind of marshmallow, kind of caramel, a little bit mm -hmm. of fruit in there. Um, whereas fours like a big, robust, like you know. Kind of reminds you like a will it rye or something like. Mm -hmm. um, You're killing me with the will it, like I'll, <laughs> that'll switch me right away. <laughs> Don't let it do that. It's just green, green foil. <laughs> well, I think um, I think we're happy. I think number two is probably gonna be our winner. Yeah. What do you all think? Two's pretty good. They're both great, actually. Yeah, um, they are. I thought <laughs> one. I, I honestly thought one, two, and four were all really good. Yeah, I agree. Least. I agree. I would have three, like you said, was a little forever. too like a hot mess for me, but I could have been happy with one, two, and four. Would it be too much if we tried to buy both of them? Oh, <sighs> what I mean, how many bottles come in these? One thirty. One hundred and twenty five. I'm in for four. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> See, I'd take both. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like both. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm smashed at this point. I'm gonna pass out here soon. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, well, we'll uh, we'll circle back on that. But I think at this point, how about I think, we taste them again then? Go. Well, I yeah. think number. <laughs> but you try. I'm out. I'm yeah, I was like, I'm out. I think I think number two is our winner. Can we all come yeah. to that consensus? Yeah. We'll, I'll yeah. Do. All right. Y'all ready for some revealing action here? Yeah. Really curious on the proofs here. All right. So I'll do number one. Uh, number one, as we can see right here. Barrel number 20228, and then it is also a 111.9 proof. Now, okay. as I said, this one says single barrel sample rye whiskey. Um, doesn't say when it was barreled or anything like that. So uh, I'll skip John, that. Go with number, number three. John says sweet oak and spicy oak. I guess everything we do now is going to be sweet <laughs> sweeter, spicy. <laughs> All right. Uh, number three, barrel number 20011 was 112 proof. Not too much different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Literally you point. Drink one. like that, though. And then number four. Oh, I should also mention number three right here. The one thing that it says in number three that anybody else didn't notice is that it actually says 10 year right on there. Mm -hmm. Right. So it actually says. The other that, ones don't say that. Well, um, hold on. I don't know yet. Uh, number four was the last one we grabbed. Uh, this one just says single barrel, but also hundred and let's say one hundred and eleven point seven. Hmm. So they're all there's that. Fun. That's crazy, and that means that number two, and it says it on there, ten year 
single barrel mm-hmm. sample. And it's the lowest proof, 109.5. Ah, there it is. Wow. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Interesting. And then these were all pulled on different dates. So we've got uh, two that were pulled on 1126, and then two that were pulled on 1216. So there you have it, folks. There's your winner. Uh, do we do one or two barrels? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I will. Uh, I'll talk to them tomorrow, and we'll say we'll, we'll go with this one, and we'll see if we can do two. If we can do two, cool. Um, if not, maybe we will. And they say if that's your allocation for the year, it's your allocation for the year. Uh, if not, maybe we can sandbag it, and then we'll do a. Uh, They're another, both fantastic. Another barrel, really actually, good. at Whistle Pig. That would be awesome this year. That would be so. incredible. Invite us. We're all there. Yep. <laughs> All right. Nope. You only get to do the online version. No, <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll do this. We'll me and Kenny will be at Whistle Pig and y'all can join in. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> join in live from the other dagger. side. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it was a good time. Well, now everybody has uh one and three still to go. So <laughs> yeah. Well, here, as we as we kind of finish up, any other questions in chat before we kind of start closing this out and then we can uh we can say toodles everybody. Don't steal my line. I'm well, you're right. I'm so glad we didn't choose one. Have you seen this in the past at all? Like uh you you noted that a couple of these were marked ten year. Is this like a common do you know if this is a common thing or no. Um <laughs> like I said I just saw recently that some of the whistle pick barrel picks are coming out and they are 10 years. And so that's the only reason why when I looked at these, I, I actually saw that kind of weird that some of them said single barrel select and other ones said 10 year single barrel select. Yeah. Interesting. Don't know why. Even on the bottle though, like didn't we get some that not for us, but the ones we did with the cartel, they were, they say age 10 years on the bottle, but it's actually older. Yeah. Some of them are actually older than 10 year, but I think that was actually when all the labels do. Yeah. But the consumer labels, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's crazy is smooth curveball is 117 proof and it drinks way easier than than oh, wow. Both of these. There you go. And we chose number two, which was 109.5. So I just mixed one and three thanks to John Henderson (laughs) chat. Uh, And it's not when you mix the. So smooth curveball, Matt's asking oh, where did it fall? I mean, I'm not gonna lie; it's probably the best out of all of them, but it's just totally different. What smooth curveball? Yeah, it's like I said. That was there was something really awesome with that barrel. Dude, don't be a hater. Just saying. <laughs> just saying. I can't get it. Well, you know, I. Uh, I'm sure, there's, I'm sure there's secondary sites out there, right? I mean, you're winning you're winning everything left and right. All you do is ask for a smooth curveball yeah, to get put up. Yeah, for a fireball. Then I'll there win. you go. There you yeah, go. Smooth curveball, it, 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 it does remind you of like a Booker's Rye or like, like mm. a Kentucky Rye, like Michter's, you know, 10-year Rye or something. You know what the worst that you hate about doing all this is that like at the very end, you're like, ah, fuck it. I'll just mix one and three together, and it tastes so good. Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> Well, that's why you're like, you know, maybe these, they know what they're doing when they're <laughs> blending in. Yeah. Get Joe Beatrice here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. No, that's like the, that Weller CY OB or whatever. You're like. <laughs> PB. PB. You're, or whatever PB. You're like, you should just leave the distiller to do what they do. Cause it's so much better than us trying to guess what we want. Yeah. I don't know how that ended up low proof. Um, yeah well none of these drank too hot except for three <clears throat> yeah i thought three was like a fireball yeah I'm, I'm happy with the decision though i think it's gonna be a solid solid pick yeah. solid oh, pick yeah. and that's what even a lot that's what i don't understand why people give a bad rap about canadian rise i mean some of these canadian rise are some of the best rise out there in the market well, yeah the so, old ones are they're great yeah they're fantastic we need mm-hmm. to <laughs> we, need, we need to buy some more rye. Yeah. I thought the Canadian batch that's one uh barrel rye was actually pretty good. It's like a four year Canadian. It's young, but it's it's hot. And, well, it and makes big. sense. Rye grows best in cool weather, so it's like who cares if it's Canadian? That, that's where it grows best. Yep. <laughs> well, I mean, 
you you know that most of us don't know how the agriculture world actually works. Yeah, right. It doesn't grow here. <laughs> it grows for like three months and it's like, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Take your word for it. All right. Well, uh, Bob and Pete say on, um, but I think uh, I don't see any other questions coming through through chat. So I want to say thank you, everybody that actually tuned in and watched this barrel pick happen. Uh, thank you for taking out an hour to your live to just sit here and see exactly how barrel gets chosen uh, live on the Internet. So it was fun. Yep. Can't wait till the next one. Yep. Uh, so thank you, everybody that was uh, I was watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, of course, this is going to always go to Patreon community people first. So if you are looking to get a bottle of this in the next, I mean, it's let's be honest, it's going to be at least four to six months until it's actually going to be available. But patreon.com slash bourbon pursuit. I believe uh, we've got a few bottles going up for sale next week. I'm not going to tell you what it is. And oh, then we've also got one? some. Yeah. Um, I'm not. That's what I'm saying. I'm not going to not going to give it away. And then, but we've also got another like four or five barrels of stuff that uh, hasn't sold out yet. So you still have your opportunity to get your hands on some other things that we've done in the past, such as Russell's and Traverse City and Magnus and uh, Makers and Knob Creek. So make sure you go and you check that out as well. So cheers, everybody. Thank you so much for joining in and we'll see y'all later. Yep. Toodles. Cheers.